Hey, how you doing? Duff here. And what you see in front of you is some items with King Song markings on them. And uh, you may or may not have a guess of what they are. You probably do. Uh, this is also part of the same kit right here. And uh, I'll give you three seconds to guess what it is. And yes, you're right, it is a battery. It's two batteries, actually. This is the battery upgrade that you can get for the Kingsong 18L to install the same batteries that are in the Kingsong 18XL. So uh, it's uh, 1,550 watts, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to get this stuff unwrapped and uh, see how difficult this is. There is an incredible amount of packing material on these. I'm still cutting. I think I've cut away about four layers of foam. And I think I'm finally to the last layer. It's very well wrapped. All right, if you're ever wondering what King Song 1550 uh, battery packs look like, uh, they look like this. They look identical. So there's the battery packs. And then the other component to this is uh, replacement shells, or the, at least the covers, the battery covers, because uh, the batteries are, are thicker, so you need shells that uh, are slightly wider. One thing I thought that was interesting was, um, uh, most of you know that my 18L is white, and it just so happens that the uh, shell covers that I got sent, I got the, uh, this pack from E-Wheels, I'll have more information about that later. But the uh, cover I got is actually black. Covers. So it's actually black. And some people that might bother, but I actually think it might be kind of cool now. I'm going to have a two-tone two-tone 18L. It's going to have black sides, but uh, white trim pieces. So. I'm actually kind of uh, excited about changing up the look of my wheel with these black side covers. All right, so I do have some experience taking apart the 18L because um, I did have to uh, do some battery testing when I first got my wheel. So um, there's some screws that are hidden behind these adhesive pads right there. I believe there's also screws hidden behind this pad down here. And I'm going to need to transplant these pads to my, my black shell now. So I need to see if I can hopefully remove these without damaging the adhesive too badly so that they actually stick to the other shell. We shall see. So you got two screws hiding down there, three screws up here. These little uh, the LED lights need to come out. like a small flat, uh, flat blade screwdriver, you should be able to start it. Disconnect your lights. And then there, there's uh, additional screws under here. So let me get the uh, cover off this side and start taking some screws out. All right, this should lift off at this point. Alright, so you'll see that the uh, the factory 18L battery, it's in a hard plastic case. That's one of the differences um, with the um, smaller battery pack and the bigger battery pack, I guess. Uh, to jam all this uh, battery power in here, they had to uh, abandon the case. So there are, uh, it looks like one, two, three. You have this, uh, this, this connector here and a smaller connector that you have to disconnect. There's some plastic or some foam rubber that holds down the cables. Just kind of pop that out of the way temporarily. Okay, and that that should be it. Take off these screws. This should just lift out. Bam! battery pack removed. 
So as you can see, the, the shape is similar. It's just uh, thinner because it has less cells. So let's see if we can drop one of these big boys in here. Fits in there nicely. The replacement pack, it has like this little rubber grommet. Um, I'm not sure what that's used for. That's used for. Um, oh, okay, so in the with the old battery, it has these channels built into the case of the battery. So for cable management, now with this new battery, there really isn't anything there. So um, I'm just going to kind of connect them and, and maybe uh, tie wrap them out of the way. I'm going to see how these uh, see how these sit. All right, here, here you see the pack in place. Um, like I said, there's nothing really to do cable management with here. They're just kind of sitting here, and I'm just looking for anything I could zip tie it to, potentially, but I'm not really seeing anything in that regard either. And then the other difference is the um, factory battery has these standoffs for, for screwing it into place. With this one, uh, there is no, nothing like that. And I assume it's just the, the larger case itself is what's going to hold it in place. So yeah, a little bit different. Shouldn't be a problem, but um, yeah, definitely different. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I forgot I have this piece of foam here. So this piece of foam, I can actually wedge back in here. And that will that will keep those wires pinned down underneath it. So okay, that's, that's all right. So let's see how my new matte black uh, case fits on top here. Be sure to route your LED wires back through. They are through, so let's see if this will fit. You can feel that it's it's definitely pressing pressing against the battery. You gotta hold it in place, so alright. Let's put some screws in. All right, screws are back in. I'm uh, putting the LED strip back in. Should just be a snap fit. And uh, these connectors are keyed, so you can't you can't really mess it up. Which is good for someone like me. Okay, there we go. One side done. Well, actually, let's see if the pads will go back on, huh? At least initially, they, they seem to be on there okay. We'll see if uh, they come loose over time. That's good. So now basically I just got to flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm not going to uh, record that part of it unless I run into a problem. Alright, so I'm in the process of putting the uh, shell back together on the other side. Uh, one thing to just keep in mind is you, the shell isn't going to just lay there and line up. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's putting tension on the battery. It's, it's, it's literally like holding it stationary. So you have to kind of push down and... Uh, and, and, and and uh, just apply some pressure to get the screw started, um, which which may feel odd, you know, that it doesn't just lay down flat uh, without you doing so. But and it was like that on the other side as well. It's just it's a, a little bit more so that way uh, on this side for whatever reason. So just need to get these screws in place and uh, connect the lights, and then uh, turn it on and see what happens. I mentioned before how. Uh, you know, these, this shell is required to accommodate the bigger battery and the shell itself I don't think is actually bowing out any further. What the difference is, is on the, um, the shell uh, that I was sent, it does not have this, this, this uh, raised section of plastic. It, it literally looks like it was just shaved off. So that is the difference between an 18L shell and an 18XL shell and that is the only difference I believe. There are three little holes, or three little like um, 
nubs basically that you line up with three holes so you have these aligned correctly. And again, I'm hoping that there's enough adhesive left on these that they actually stay uh, stuck on. I might have, to, if not, I might have to get a new set of pads. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see if she turns on. I sure hope so. Connected. All right, she's on. Battery, based on the LEDs, looks to be about half. Let me just bring up the King Song app. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, connected. Yep, it's showing 53%. 53% battery. So, uh, I guess the next step is I need to throw this in the charger, get a full charge, and then do some range tests, you know? So how do you like the, the two-tone look? I think it's kind of cool, man. Really, the only thing that exposed that's white now is is up top here. I'll throw my white mud guard back on here. Um, but I kind of I'm kind of digging it, man. It's unique. It's a unique kind of wheel. I remember when I got the 18 XL, I, I commented how I actually liked the matte black. So I kind of am pumped that I now have a matte black 18L. Very cool. So all right, let me. There'll be uh, more to come in this video. But for now, we're going to throw it in the charger, and uh, I'll report back to you when I have more information.